miss it. So Igboho is provocative. Gani, Adams, and others. Are Ono Okakanfo of Yoruba land, Gani Adams, and other members of the Southwest Security Stakeholders Group have condemned Shei Gumi's visitation to Igboho town. Yoruba Nation Activist Chief Sunday Adeyemo, aka Sunday Igboho, is an indigenous of Igboho, the headquarters of the Orelungbe local government area of Oyo State. In a viral video, on Tuesday, the Kaduna State based controversial Islamic cleric was seen in Igboho town alongside a former chief executive officer of the National Health Insurance Scheme, Professor Usman Yusuf. Reacting after an emergency meeting with the security group described the pro bandit cleric visit as provocative. The security stakeholders made this known in a statement jointly signed by the convener of SSG, Gani Adams, and the security, and the Gani Adams, I mean, with the secretary, Alaji Owolabi Amosat, titled In Security, Stay Away from Southwest, Southwest Security Group Wants Bandits. They dismissed, they dismissed Sheikh Gumi visit to Igboho Town saying the visit was an attempt to mock and undermine the efforts of the Yoruba activist and freedom fighter. They claim that the Islamic cleric body language or trances in Igboho's town truly showed that he was behind the DSS attack on Igboho Soka home and that part of the Yoruba terrorists have been conquered. Gumi is a Nigerian. He has a right to visit any part of the country, but it shouldn't be to the extent of being deliberately a fucking Igboho ideology in his own town. Such an attempt is provocative and such leads to a crisis. That was why it el elicited various reactions. Gumi's ideas are always at variance with the present reality in the country and i think it is better for him to desist from fanning the embers of discord in the country and the southwest in particular part of the statement added the security state order also warned bandits and other bad elements to stay away from the southwest region they claim that there are feelings that bandits have perfected their plans to strike in south West. The statement added on these notes the Southwest Security Stakeholders Group has considered it necessary to beef up the security operative in our region and we charge the police and all other security outfits across the region to remain vigilant in ensuring that the region is safe. Any attempt to invade the Southwest will bring about both economic and political doom. SSG SSSG is driven by the calls to ensure effective security across the southwest. We are also keen on regionalism where each region will control the security architecture of their respective region. If Nigeria didn't return to, to or go back to regionalism based on the true federalism that we have in the past, there may be a crisis and nobody should blame those agitating for self-determination. But as a group, we will not relent in the struggle to protect the Southwest and we are determined to partner with the police and other security agents to combat crime and make it and make the region safe for all the sundry. Hmm. I must say, this is indeed a true word from Ghani Adams because indeed what's what Gumi did is indeed a very provocative action, I must say. Why would he go to Igbo stand and what was his mission there? People are still questioning him about that and he hasn't given any answer or has not even responded. What was his mission and why did he have to go to that very particular place of all places in the south? That means he has an eating agenda or should you rather say he has something in it? He has something he wants to do. That is why he had to go there on that very ungodly visit because nobody, he has nobody there, no relation or does he have any relations there? What did he go there to do? What is his 
problem with the South South. We thought he only has meetings with all these northern people because they are the ones who have been giving him all the liberty and all the liberties that he has that he has been using to terrorize the whole of the north i must say because he is the one who is terrorizing them because he has been the one who has been busy advocating for bandits so i would rather say that he is the one who is doing what who is busy provoking all the bandits against the communities that they are attacking because his words are sounds he wears, his own words sounds like genocide i must say because he is the one who has been advocating for all those bandits all the kind of comments he makes like when he talks to the presidency or the government sounds as if he is busy encouraging the bandits because whenever he talks he said the bandits are in nowhere secondly he said the bandits need amnesty thirdly he said all those police force all those military trumped air force whatever that they are dispatching all over the forest that will not help them so what are those comments for that means he's busy trying to provoke all those bandits against nigerian trump he wants them to fight back that is what he means with all this he's always vomiting out of his mouth and i always used to wonder what kind of stuff this man is made of i don't know why maybe he has blindfolded the eyes of the federal government that is why they can't even see him or what because i don't really understand at all what is this man's mission in nigeria of a whole he always preach about the way nigerians being won but he hasn't done anything to make us feel like we are one nigeria saying that nigeria will never that nigeria will never divide but he has intentionally or should i say unintentionally divide nigeria without knowing it because him advocating for bandits and since the whole of nigerians know that bandits are no no have no good or have no good intention for nigerians that is why they are busy killing everybody in nigeria but since gumi has ear to thing that's been happening in the country and is busy advocating for bandits then what do you want me to say if not to say that bandits is an advocator for i mean gumi is an advocator for bandits this whole thing is getting really really hard of hand and he has gone as far as insulting not only the president but also insulting the whole governor of or your state because his visit to Oyo is an insult to the whole of Oyo's and in short it is a slap to the residents of Igboho I must say because he went there only to mock them to let them know that he is an advocate for bandits and yet he is roaming freely he wants them to see him and know that he is above the law that is what he did because he wanted to, he wanted them to know that someday Igboho is only advocating for a good cause but what did he get he got a prison term why he who is advocating for bandits who are busy raping killing innocent people but yet he is working freely that is what is making them to understand that we are not one nigeria he buhari is a lover of them and that is why they are about doing their free activities why the people who have done nothing are languishing in cells well you can hit the comment section and share your take on this article thanks for listening